Ladies and gentlemen, dear authorities and guests, good afternoon and welcome to the FIBA U16 America's Championship 2023 official draw. This event gathers the top eight U16 national teams as they attempt to earn the title of Champions of America in the under 16 age range. We want to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the president of the Mexican Basketball Federation, Dr. Modesto Robledo, and to the city of Merida, Yucatan, for the significant effort and commitment to host these key regional youth competitions, which will gather the rising stars in basketball as they represent their countries. Prior to the draw, let's do a quick recap of our participating teams from North America, Canada, and the United States of America. From Concentrava region, there's three participating teams, Republica Dominicana, Puerto Rico, and the host, Mexico. And to conclude the participating national federations from Consul Basket subregion, Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. This completes the participants for this FIBA Under-16 America's Championship. Now, let us review the draw principles and the corresponding parts for this event. As you can see on my right, the draw will be executed using four parts of two spheres each. The teams have been grouped in accordance with the youth Nike World Rankings. In addition to the team spots to my left, we will have two additional parts containing the group position numbers, which will define the assigned group and the matches for the games during the group phase. Now, let's overview the draw process. We will begin by selecting one sphere from part one, which will be slotted into group A, followed by selecting a sphere from part A to determine the, seed, the seeding of the team order of the games during the group phase. We will then continue the process by selecting the remaining sphere from the same part number one, and if matching assigned group spot, but now from part B. The process will be repeated for part two, three, and four, confirming the four teams that will make up group A and B in the competition. The director will conclude once all the teams has been slotted into these two groups, alongside with the number that defines their assigned position during the competition. Finally, let's recap one more time the parts. Part number one, we have the two best ranked teams in the region, United States and Canada. Part number two, Brazil and Argentina as third and fourth ranked team in the uh, Americas. Part number three, Republica Dominicana y Puerto Rico. And part number four, Uruguay and the host Mexico. Now that everything is ready, we want to introduce our draw assistants, Matias Arriki, who will help us determine the path of all the qualifying teams. Thank you both for joining us today. With the process and structure set on a draw assistant ready, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin this draw. We're going to start with part number one. So Matias, can you help us guide us through and say who is the team that will go to group A. Remember that by the draw process, the first team selected in each of the parts will go to group A, followed by the second team will go to group B. And that's the United States. The United States will play in group A. It's now time to select the number for the United States. This number will define the schedule for this team during the group phase. And the number for United States is A4. A4 for United States. It's now time to continue the draw with pub number one, the last fear. Matias? This team will go to group B. Canada. So Canada joins Group B, the first team slotted into Group B. We now continue now with Part B to select the number for Canada.
and Canada will be slotted B3. So B3 for Canada. That concludes the first spot. We now keep this draw by selecting one sphere from part number two. Part number two, Matias. This part includes the teams of Argentina and Brazil. The first team selected will go to group A. First team to group A is Argentina. So Argentina will play in group A alongside with the United States. We now continue with part A to select the number for Argentina. And the number is A2. So A2 for Argentina. Final sphere in part number two. This team will join Canada in group B. And it's Brazil. So Brazil and Canada are in group B. We now go to part B to select the sphere that will define the order of the games for Brazil. B4. So B4 for Brazil. We're halfway through. Argentina, United States already in Group A. Canada and Brazil in Group B. Part 3. Matias, let's take the first sphere out. This team will go to Group A. We have here Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic in this part number 3. Let's see who goes to Group A. And it's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico will play against... Argentina and the United States in, in the group phase. Let's see what's the number for Puerto Rico. A1 for Puerto, for Puerto Rico. Final sphere in part number three. Matias, let's see who goes to group B. In Group B, already Canada and Brazil. So is La República Dominicana. So Dominican Republic goes to Group B alongside with Canada and Brazil. Part B, to see the number. B2. So B2 for Dominican Republic. Final part, part number four. We have two teams. It's the host Mexico and Uruguay. Matias, let's see who goes to Group A. In Group A already, Puerto Rico, Argentina, and the United States. And it's the host Mexico. Mexico goes to Group A. Mexico to Group A. Part A, the last number that we have for group A. We have only one number remaining, and that's A3, number three for Mexico. So Puerto Rico, Mexico, Argentina, and United States into group A. We now conclude with this part of the team parts with the last sphere that will join Group B, and it's Uruguay. So Uruguay joins the Dominican Republic, Canada, and Brazil. Final sphere from the number spot. We have only one number remaining. And of course, it's B1. So B1 for Uruguay. We're now ready for some exciting youth basketball with the FIBA Under-16 America's Championship 2023, which started from June 5th to the 11th of 2023 in the city of Yucatan, Mexico. Now let's recap the results. So we have Group A, Puerto Rico, Argentina, Mexico, 
and the United States. In Group B, Uruguay, Dominican Republic, Canada, and Brazil. We want to take this opportunity to thank all the NF presidents, representatives, and authorities for your presence during this event. Thank you, and please join us in a few moments for the FIBA Women's U16 Championship draw here from Miami. <laughs> 